What's going on guys, Jake the Programmer here. In today's video, we have some awesome stuff. The 2023 Developer Stack Overflow Survey has been released, and there's a lot of new things that are in there that I wanna cover. This is gonna be a short, simple, sticking to the overview of what's going on in the industry. And uh, yeah, let's just dive in. Let's go. So guys, for those of you who don't know, every year Stack Overflow releases a survey and it covers basically everything you need to know about programming in terms of what languages are popular, fields, salaries, technology that's being used, just pretty much everything. So every year it's always fun to take a look in and see what changes are being made in the industry. In May 2023, over 90,000 developers responded to our annual survey about how they learn and level up, which tools they're using and which ones they want. This year they actually added a few things when it came to AI and machine learning to capture how developers are thinking about it and using it in their workflow. So that'll be fun to see. And guys, this is my first time really taking a dive in and looking at this. So I'm going through this just as you guys are. Learning to code from online resources increased from 70% to 80% since 2022. That just shows a lot more people are wanting to learn how to code. Online course platforms that are learning how to code. Udemy, of course, there's so many Udemy courses out there. People use it all the time. 65% people using Udemy to learn how to code when it comes to online platforms. Oh, this is awesome. A lot of full stack developers were the respondents to this survey. This is helpful because a lot of the content we produce is mainly about like full stack web development and things along those lines. JavaScript breaks its 11th year in a row as the most commonly used programming language. Python has overtaken SQL as the third most commonly used language. Few technologies have moved up the spot this year. Bash, Shell, C, Ruby, Perl, and Erlang, with two moving up two spots, Elixir and Lisp. Big mover gaining seven spots since 2022 was Lua. And professional developers' top three technologies are the same as last year, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and SQL. So if we look at people learning how to code, of course, starting out with HTML and CSS, and this is awesome. A lot of people are moving from HTML and CSS to JavaScript. Now we think that that's the most appropriate route to go down because JavaScript is widely used, especially in web development, and you're gonna need it if you wanna become a full stack engineer, a front end web developer. It's kind of why we tell people it's better to learn JavaScript first than Python. So it's cool to see that people are starting to pick up on that. TypeScript also just showing how popular it's becoming. And actually it's even more in demand now, which I'm sure we'll see later as we go through this. This year, PostgreSQL took over first place from MySQL. It's almost like a 16 to 17% increase in those learning MySQL compared to MongoDB. And in fact, at DevSoaps, we literally just switch our curriculum to where we're teaching SQL instead of MongoDB. So that's really cool. AWS still securing the top spot. There's no surprise there. Web frameworks and technologies. This is awesome. Node.js, 42%. React, 40%. These are the two most commonly used technologies by all respondents. And I'll definitely say React is definitely popular and it's the most in-demand framework when it comes to landing a job and things along those lines. So that's just awesome to see all that. Oh, here we go, a new section, AI search tools. This year's respondents top choice for AI search tools is ChatGPT. No surprise there. Once ChatGPT came out, it became a whirlwind for developers. So I'm not surprised there at all that ChatGPT is the most commonly used AI platform for programmers, 83%. AI developer tools, in addition, as you're asking about search tools, We've also asked about AI developer tools. GitHub Copilot is the overall pick for most used AI developer tool with 55% respondents using it this past year. This is no surprise. I'm actually curious to see what other things people are gonna be coming out with, but I'm not surprised that GitHub Copilot was the top. Oh, this is interesting. Admired and desired. In addition to reporting what popular technologies developers use in the past year, we have some technology and tools that are currently using and they know they wanna see again in the future. This year we've added a new section to the survey. This is basically languages that they're using now and want to be using in the future. So this is interesting. JavaScript, look at this. 40% desired, 57% admired. Almost half of people are like, guys, I wish I didn't have to use JavaScript. Rust is the most admired language at a whopping 85%. TypeScript, this is awesome. About 71% people admire TypeScript. MATLAB, 18% <laughs> admired. I'm not surprised by that at all. PostgreSQL, 71% admired. Now this is interesting. When we get to the web frameworks and technologies, 
React 63% admired, Node.js 64% admired. Phoenix seems to be the most admired framework at 82%. That's that's pretty interesting. And I'm not surprised Angular 19% admired. Yeah, nobody wants to mess with Angular. Chat GPT. <laughs> 77% admired, 75% desired. A lot of developers want to still use ChatGPT for the AI search. Yeah, I don't know anything else that could be coming along that would change that. Now, let's check out that new section here, AI. This was a new section for 2023. We have a deeper dive into all of this data on our Stack Overflow Labs write-up. We wanted to gain insight into the real sentiments behind this year's surge in AI popularity. Is it making a real impact in the way developers work or is it all hype? Well, I'm sure it's making an impact, so let's take a look. AI tools in the development process. 70% of the respondents are using or planning to use AI tools in their development process this year. Those learning to code are more than like or more likely than professional developers to be using AI tools. If we look at all respondents, about 43% of people are saying, yes, I'm using AI. 25% say, no, I don't, but plan to. And 29% say, no, and I don't plan to. Those learning to code, this makes complete sense. Of course, people learning to code are using AI. 54%. AI tools. 77% of all respondents are favorable or very favorable of AI tools for development. Professional developers are more likely to be indifferent than those learning to code. It looks like all the pros are like, yeah, it's cool, but I don't need it. And then those learning to code are like, yes, I love it. Give me more. Benefits of AI tools. Increasing productivity, 32%. Speed up learning, 25%. Greater efficiency, 24%. Improve accuracy in coding, 13%. Improve collaboration, 3%. I can see that. And then the accurate, <laughs> I love that. The accuracy of AI tools. Highly trust, 2.85%. This makes complete sense because there's been a lot of instances where AI is just spitting out code that just doesn't work. Uh, and for those of you worried about AI taking over your programming job, this just goes to show that not a lot of people trust AI with their code right now. Liar! 39% somewhat trust, 21% somewhat distrust, 5.4% highly distrust. That's no surprise there. Those, those are, you know for a fact, those are the guys that are gung-ho about AI can't do what us humans can do. I, I could totally see that being them. And then the ones that highly trust it, they, these are probably the guys saying that AI is gonna take over our jobs and we're all screwed. But no, it makes sense. There, I mean, there is there is some accuracy to AI spitting out code. Sometimes it does it right, sometimes it does it wrong. There's no surprise there. So how are people using AI in their development workflow? The people who are currently using AI use it a lot to write code, which is kind of a double-edged sword because sometimes it doesn't work all the way. <laughs> About 82% say yes, I'm using it to write code. 42, 48% using it for debugging and getting help. That seems like the most effective way to use it, if, if, in my opinion. 34% uh, documenting code. 23% testing code. 13% project planning. 10% committing and reviewing code. 4% deploying and moderating. And 3% collaborating with teammates. Those that are not interested in using it are using it for everything but touching their code. These are the people that are like saying, AI, do not touch my code. You can just see the split numbers there. That's hilarious. And then those people interested in using it, of course, they just want to dabble in a little bit of everything. That makes complete sense. Oh, this is interesting. AI tools next year, regardless of being a professional developer or somewhat learning to code, people believe that their development workflow will be different in a year because of AI tools. This makes complete sense. AI is going to change the game a little bit. Um, we talked about this so much in our video called, is AI taking over? Uh, but basically there's gonna be changes and the coding role is gonna be different with these new tools and things along those lines. So just be mindful that programming is always adapting. There's always new technologies coming out and new tools to use. And AI is one of those tools that's gonna make things different. So who knows what's to come in the next years. Now let's take a work at the industry, the coding industry, the good stuff. All right, let's look at the salaries. Salary by developer type. Back in developers, $165 thousand dollars a year mobile developers one hundred sixty three thousand dollars a year front end developers one hundred and forty thousand dollars a year same with full stack this is interesting stuff let's look at all respondents blockchain engineers one hundred and three thousand dollars a year that's an awesome salary count I'm sure we could dive in a little bit deeper if we wanted to years of experience continues to be the determining factor in higher salaries 
the three highest paid roles have on average more than 11 years of experience. Hey, that just shows that coding is a lifelong industry. Salary and experience by language. Zig developers are paid the most per years of experience compared to other languages. 11 years on average. Same goes with Raku and Cobol have much more experience, 19 years on average, but make at least 25% less. Seen a slight increase in independent contractor, freelancer, and self-employed, and an equal size decrease in full-time students. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. There's some new sections in there, a lot of awesome stuff, a lot of stuff that's kind of the same as last year, but it looks like that AI section is the big, big change coming in the next years. The link for this is down below. Feel free to check it out. I just want to do a brief overview of it and show you guys what's going on. Thank you so much for watching this video. And guys, if you want to learn what's standing in between you and a career in coding, click the link down below and check out our free live training. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.